we get them down south and teach them to shag. This young lady was born in Boston, but her family moved to Charleston when she was three, so she's definitely southern. She'd go back up north during the summer when she was around 15 and hop a train to Boston, go to Philly, or in Boston, go to Philly, and she was on that new TV program called American Bandstand. Yeah. At 14, she was at the Folly Beach Pier dancing. So I figured out she might be a little younger than me, but that's where my family used to go, Carolyn Hedry. And um, it was a good place to go and dance too. During high school, she would sneak out to dance at hot spots like Seaside, Merchant Seaman, and other hangouts. She danced all over Atlanta when her job moved her down there, and she danced competitive some. She's boogied all over North and South Carolina. She still works, still traveling around boogieing. But she's at OD, it's her second home. She's a great little dancer, and you always know that she usually has a pocketbook hanging over her shoulder. I guess she thinks she's steal her money. Would Leslie Cohen please come on down? My girlfriend and I would sneak up to Ocean Drive to dance. Ever since then, I've been in love with the dance and everything it stands for. Dancing has been a big part of my life, and it will continue to be as long as I live. I'd like to thank the people who nominated me over the years, and a special thanks to the people who voted me in this year. I'm thrilled to be included with this year's group of inductees. It means everything to me. The end. with three men, I believe. Joe Skinner is going to come out first. Zach Smith is going to come in. And Buzz, if Buzz is able to dance, he's going to come out and dance with him. We never know with Buzz. Here's Joe Skinner out here. 